So my academic background is at Edinburgh Law School, where I studied for an LLB there for four years, and then I went on to do the Diploma in Legal Practice, which is the equivalent to the LPC. I then qualified as a solicitor with a big firm in Scotland for two years and went back to the university to study for an LLM. When I finished that LLM, I asked one of my professors what university is good for socio-legal human rights and that professor said Warwick and here I am. So I came down to do my PhD after that and uh, I've stayed ever since. Okay. So as I say, I came down to Warwick to study for a PhD and I did that PhD in human rights law. And then I became a teaching fellow here at Warwick for a year and got my assistant professorship after that. So I've been here for nine years now when you add it all together. And I think the reason that I did the PhD, I think there was an expectation or I felt there was an expectation at university that you would qualify as a solicitor and you'd become a solicitor at one of the top firms. So I did, I did my traineeship and I was on that trajectory and then I realised that I really didn't like the law in practice. What I liked was teaching and researching and writing. So I came back to academia and everybody said, we knew you were going to go back to academia. So that's how I ended up here and I love it and I love my job. So my PhD was on human rights education, looking at the barriers to uh, this happening in schools. Why are teachers not doing it? What are the reasons for that? So it was an empirical study, which meant I went out and I spoke to teachers about the problems and I, I, I wrote that up as my PhD. So that was kind of my, my principal research area was around um, human rights and education. But I've kind of morphed into doing general children's rights work. Um, I'm a bit of a magpie when it comes to research. I will research areas of children's rights that really interest me. So I've looked at safeguarding and its interaction with human rights. I've looked at privacy, children's, particularly the privacy of the um, children of celebrities is an article that I've got just coming out soon. I think I just consider children's rights to be such an important topic. I think we want that next generation to grow up in a world that's just and equitable and safe and secure and I think it's just a really important area of research. So I love to get students thinking outside the box just like I do with the children that I work with in outreach work. I think creativity and curiosity is what, what we should be fostering at university. So I do involve some sort of taskmaster elements in my undergraduate teaching sometimes I get students to think about wording and how you know the importance of language in law by using taskmaster based challenges. I've also drawn on other game shows in uh, in my teaching so I recreated Pointless at one point in my human rights in practice module which was really good fun and I just think it's about getting the students actually engaging with the real world as well. So in human rights in practice, the students go out, they have to work with stakeholders external to the university and they have to build those relationships and carry out projects. And I think that's the way that people learn best is just getting involved. So I think my teaching ethos is participatory and building on that element of students' curiosity and creativity. Okay, so school tasking is the main project that I'm working on at the moment, which is very much based on the uh, department's impact. So what are we doing to go out into the world and make an impact? So school tasking is an outreach project that we do with widening participation schools, local to the university, where the children learn a bit about law and they carry out competition based on that learning, that's based on the format of the TV show Taskmaster. So we are going, well, my students actually are going into schools and teaching these kids the basics of law, engaging them in really fun tasks. And they're then in competition with the other schools local to the university, but also other universities across the UK, because there's about 32 universities now running the project. So this is, as I say, it's all about impact. It's all about what can we do as a school to go out into the community and to, to engage with uh, ex stakeholders external to the university and to really make a difference. I'm also researching school tasking at the same time so it's not just about what we're doing but it's also about research that's happening alongside where we're looking at how the children's legal knowledge is changing from the start to the end of the project and we're also looking at what impact it might be having on their 
desire to go to university and whether we're sort of encouraging them to think about university when maybe they hadn't before. So as uh, my role uh, as Director of Widening Participation, I sit on a couple of the departmental committees like EDI and Strategy Committee. But with, uh, together with Rosie, who's our new WP officer, we really want to get WP students involved in some of the uh, committees like SSLC and have a particular voice for WP students. So we're, we're going to be looking for students to get involved in that way and to feed into the, the committees that I set as part of in that role as director of WP. And of course, with school tasking, the students can get involved as well. 25 students are currently uh, running the school tasking sessions, which is amazing. We will be recruiting uh, new students just after the summer break as well. So if students want to get involved in school tasking and want to go out into schools making a difference, then they can watch out for that opportunity as well. So I would say uh, in the two fields of my research, which would be loosely children's rights and legal education when you build in the, the school tasking elements, are quite broad areas, but I tend to find interesting little corners of those fields that I think would be considered quite niche. I also have a very niche secondary interest in uh, law and magic, which I've written an article about. I don't think you can get more niche than looking at law and magic, but I find it fascinating. Thank you.